one gene, it'll be a four square Punnett square. If there are two genes, it will be a 16 square Punnett square. If there are three genes, it will be a 64 square Punnett square. The way you determine how many squares there are on a Punnett is that you put the number of possible gametes for one parent times the number of possible gametes for the other parent. If you have one gene, you have two copies of it, one on each chromosome. You can give either this one or that one. That's why one gene is a four square Punnett square. Two options for the father, two options for the mother. If you have two genes, there are four possible gametes for the parent. And what that means is that you'll have four columns and four rows. That's okay. I've been bitten! Ow! He has teeth! Ow, ow, ow! Somebody... <laughs>